Good afternoon, family and friends of Colton and Rachel. On behalf of Colton, Rachel, their parents and myself, we would like to thank you for being here and sharing in this day as they enter into marriage. I remember when you contacted me, Rachel, about marrying you and Colton. The intended date for you and Colton was last June 20th. As it turned out, the 20th of June wasn't going to work, so we moved the date to the 26th of September of this past year. Scratch that date too, and this is how we find ourselves standing before all of you, your family and friends today. They say that the third time is a charm, so here we go. Colton and Rachel, it was an attraction that brought the two of you together. And maybe your curly blonde hair, Colton. <laughs> it was nonetheless an attraction that quickly turned to love. As the two of you began spending more and more time together, enjoying one another's company, whether it was fishing, spotlighting, painting Paps Reynolds, walking the dogs, playing the tennis, the two of you were certainly inseparable. I believe that on our hike that we took, you guys shared with me that it's been 11 years that you've been together as a couple. After today, this begins a whole new chapter as you will now go forth as husband and wife. Hold one another in the highest regard, loving one another today, tomorrow, and next year. Rachel got you a little something before the wedding here. Oh my gosh. Wow. You guys aren't allowed to kind of look at this. Oh. <laughs> There's a part of her I didn't know. <laughs> Rachel, 12 years ago, we were just kids when we decided to give us a shot. From that day, I gained a teammate, a soulmate, and my best friend. I am so proud of you and the woman you have become. You are the most beautiful person inside now and have taught me so much in life. You have always been there for me throughout all the hard times of life has thrown at us and you've made You've guided me through, the t through them in a way that I would never have done without you. You have been the best mother to our two dogs, <laughs> and I have no doubt you will be the best mother to our kids someday. We have so many memories I will cherish for the rest of my life, and I look forward to making many more as we enter the next chapter of our lives together. I'm not sure if you remember me telling you the first time I saw you. I was at Relay for Life walking the track and out of the corner of my eye I saw this kid with some big ass curly hair and it was you. A few months later you and I became inseparable. Just two young kids looking to have fun and enjoy high school. What started as so new and innocent changed into a very serious and committed relationship. 
I promise to be the best dog mom and mother to our children. But I do have to say, I promise to always pick the radio station. I promise to always pick the restaurant. And I will continue to pick the shows we watch, too. <laughs> I promise to support you with your hunting addiction and always try at least one bite of whatever you bring home. <laughs> I will leave the squirrel pot pie to your mother, as I don't think I'm the right lady to take that responsibility quite yet. <laughs> After these past 12 years, I can honestly say I cannot see myself with anyone in this world but you. Thank you for loving me, and I promise to be with you forever. Thank you. With the sanction of the state of Pennsylvania, the power vested in me, and with the glad affirmation from all of us in attendance, I declare that you are husband and wife. Colton, you may kiss your beautiful wife. Christmas dances to a purple dinosaur's greatest hits. <laughs> Boogie boarding with all you can eat bear claws. Countless tennis camps, practices, matches, you name it. And the biggest one that I remember is being told I was gonna be a big brother. There was one common denominator in all of those memories, and it was my best friend. Rachel has been my oldest and best friend since the time I was told she was going to be a thing. So you can imagine how skeptical I was when Colton came into the picture about 12 years ago. But I do remember there was one other memory, and this one sticks with me, and I'll always remember it, the day that I knew Colton was right for Rachel. I went into the kitchen in our Burke Street house. We had a big picture window that looked down into the backyard. I remember looking out back and Rachel and Colton were dancing. And I don't mean just like what you saw right there, it was real nice. Rachel was doing a fully choreographed dance number with Colton, not dissimilar to the dirty dancing scene between Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. And the moment that I saw that, I knew that Colton was, he had a really good chance. Rachel's thoughtful and attentive listener and has always been someone to make you laugh. So many nights we spent as kids watching scary movies, playing Sims, night fishing, and prank calling whatever 398 number we could think of. There is no better person for Rachel than Colton. He loves her unconditionally, respects her, and makes her happy more times than he drives her crazy, and truly compliments her. Colton and I spent our entire childhood growing up, same room, had the same friends. We would ride our bikes up and down Larry's Creek, fishing, camping, doing whatever. And I was digging around in the closet at my parents' house and uh, I came across a box here. And it was dated June 20th, 2009. And it's 100 reasons why I love you, Colton, from Rachel. And there's more than just the hundred reasons now. I think Colton did add to it through high school. So I wanted to give it to you because I think there's even some coupons in there you can use on uh, the honeymoon. 